Hello dear friends assalamu alaikum and welcome back friends as you know in the previous lecture we discussed about the nose in a big detail we are discussing about the anatomy of the respiratory system right now here as you can see i have written the anatomy of the pharynx so what is pharynx what is its anatomy what is its structures let us discuss here friends if we want to define uh, the pharynx the pharynx is a funnel shaped fibromuscular tube extending from the base of the skull to esophagus you can see here it's a funnel shaped here it's very clear it's a funnel shaped fibromuscular fibromuscular means it's made up of somewhat fibers and some odd muscles it also has we will discuss the muscles also later so it begins at the base of the skull and ends at the uh, esophagus at the opening of the esophagus or we say the pharyngoesophageal junction it ends right so next it's lined throughout with mucous membrane so all the pharynx innerly it is lined with the mucous membrane the pharynx acts as a common channel for both food and it means deglutition and air and it means respiration so through this way through pharynx air also enters your respiratory tract and food also enters to the esophagus right so it acts as a common passage for both for the food and for air also okay this was just the introduction of the pharynx now what is the location of the pharynx it's situated behind the cavities of the nose mouth and larynx here you can say you can see this is the nose and here is the nasal cavity so behind the nasal cavity this is the nasopharynx and here you can see this is the oral cavity behind the oral cavity this is the oropharynx and here you can see this is the larynx so here it is the laryngopharynx right so it's situated behind the cavities of the nose mouth and larynx with which it communicates okay what are the dimensions of the pharynx its length is about 12 to 14 cm and its width here it is very much wider and here it's a little bit narrower so we say at the base it is 3.5 cm and it is 1.5 cm at the pharyngoesophageal junction so pharyngoesophageal junction means here it's a little bit narrow so it's uh, the dimension uh, here is 1.5 cm and uh, 3.5 cm uh, here at the base or at the opening at the first part okay then what are the boundaries of the pharynx okay there is a superior boundary there is an inferior boundary there is a posterior boundary there is an anterior boundary and there is a lateral boundaries of the uh, uh, pharynx so first the superior boundary it is uh, base of the skull okay there are five boundaries as you can see here but what are the relations of these boundaries look carefully here we say the boundaries and the relations so superior boundary is in relation to what superior boundary is relation to the base of the skull okay and it includes the posterior part of the body of sphenoid bone and the basilar part of occipital bone right so you can see here this is the superior boundary right this one superior boundary okay and the superior boundary is relation to the base of the skull which includes the posterior part of the body of sphenoid and basilar part of the occipital bone and front of the pharyngeal tubercle okay the superior part is in relation to we just say the occipital bone and the sphenoid bone okay the next thing the inferior boundary it communicates it continues with the esophagus okay at the level of the lower border of the cricoid cartilage anteriorly and lower border of c6 vertebra posteriorly so you see here is the cricoid cartilage and this is the c6 vertebra so it ends in the inferior boundary is in relation to the level of c6 vertebra okay the lower border of c6 and the cricoid cartilage 
okay and we also say see the opening of the esophagus is also there right in the posterior boundary is in relation to the prevertebral fascia in front of the cervical spines okay the pharynx is separated from the paravertebral fascia only by a layer of loose areolar tissue which allows the pharynx to slide freely on the fascia during swallowing so it's not important you can understand it yourself so just we said this is the posterior boundary so the superior boundary inferior boundary and posterior boundary now the anterior boundary it opens into the nasal cavity pairing of mouth and larynx yes here is the anterior boundary so the anterior boundary opens into the nasal cavity the oral cavity and the uh, pharynx okay and then there are the lateral boundaries the lateral two boundaries there is the right lateral boundary left lateral boundary the narrow vascular bundle of bundle of neck and stellate process with its attachment muscles and ligaments so there are the lateral boundaries boundary contains the stellate process on both sides right it is in relation with the stellate process on both sides and it has some attachment of some muscles and ligaments to it so these were the boundaries so what is pharynx what is the location what are the dimensions and what are the boundaries and the relations then we see what are the subdivisions of the pharynx subdivision means the pharynx is divided into three important uh, divisions into three important regions look carefully the, the the nasopharynx the part of the pharynx which lies posterior to the nasal cavity this is called the nasopharynx the oropharynx is the part of the pharynx which lies posterior or behind the oral cavity and the laryngopharynx is the part of the pharynx which lies behind the larynx right so here is will be the larynx and this is the laryngopharynx so the pharynx is subdivided into three regions the nasopharynx the oropharynx and the laryngopharynx now we will discuss each uh subdivision of the pharynx in detail so let us discuss each subdivision of the pharynx so there is the nasopharynx 